Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Russ from Georgia Transparency as he attempts to audit the Cal County, Georgia uh, School Board office, but is rejected on all fronts. He can't even get past a single door. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy his show. George, uh, transparency is going hot at the Calpita County School System's central office here. Hey, good morning. Good morning, how are you, ma'am? Good, how are you? Can I help you? Uh, just taking some pictures and some film of the building, that's all. Uh, just, just for myself, ma'am. Your name, ma'am? Your name, ma'am? One, one moment, please. What is your I'll be right back. What is your name, ma'am? Hello. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing Good today? Morning. I'm super. Thanks for asking. Somebody. Okay. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh. I, she told me to oh. stay here and just left. Oh. Not sure. Oh well. well I'm going to carry on then. Huh? So I'm going to carry on then. Sir, can you just please wait up here until she gets back, please? Ma'am, can I get your name, please? Can't you just have a seat right there? Oh no, ma'am. I'm I'm fine standing up. Can I have your okay, name? Can you just have just wait up here, please. Until Oh, uh, what is your what is your name, ma'am? Sure, hold one moment, please. Ah, uh, ma'am, can I get your name, please? Oh, I'm just me. curious. That's all. How are you? How can I help you? Oh, your name, please, ma'am. Vera Harris. Ah, my name's Russ, ma'am. Hey, Russ. Ah, uh, just just taking some pictures and some film in the public areas of the building. That's all. Okay, so yeah. inside the building, you'll need to have permission. Oh no, ma'am, I don't need permission. No, sir, you cannot just walk through and film throughout the building. Um, I'm allowed to. I'm just not allowed to go into restricted areas. All of this area is restricted. Where's the signs? All offices. Where's These the all offices? Where's the so signs? So you need to actually see a layout of something and let me know. What do you What do you need to see? Where's the signs, ma'am? What sign are you looking for? The signs that says restricted authorized personnel only. Uh, the office, actual office space is the restricted areas. Yeah, though, but where does it say that at, what do you need to What do you need to see, sir? I'm just here taking some pictures and some film of the building and seeing how wonderful the building is and everything. Got some questions to ask. And what questions would you like to I ask? I would like to not be bothered. I would like to continue um, doing what I'm doing and then... I'm just gathering content for my story, then I'll be up out of here. Okay, so who do you work for? I work for myself. I'm independent. Okay, so if you'll step over it, if you'll have a seat, I'll get our assistant superintendent to come over and speak with you. Oh, no, ma'am. I'm good. I don't need anybody. I just yeah, I need you to... you do need our assistant oh, superintendent. Oh, I, I don't need nobody. I'm you just going to keep... Uh, to the building, sir. I'm just going to keep doing, just getting my content, ma'am. That's all I'm doing. So here's Mr. Bass. We can talk with him. What I'm doing is perfectly legal, ma'am. I'm, I'm not talking about the legality of it, sir. But you're stopping me from doing... No, I'm, I'm just saying you can't go into offices down here. That's what we have. Is all these are offices. Okay, I'm not offices. Okay, I'm not going into any restricted areas. But you don't know what what areas are, where their offices is, what I'm saying. Michael, you scared people to death. That's not Michael. That's Michael Terrell. Uh, no, okay. I knew it was no, he wants to go through the throughout the building and film all the all the whereabouts and all and through the offices and I, I tell well, him. You can't do that for safety reasons. Oh, is that against the law? We not we're not gonna have people come video buildings. Oh, I'm sorry, your name, sir? I'm Mr. Bash. I'm assistant superintendent. Ah, thank you, sir. My name's Russ. And what is her name up here? She's secretary. And what's her name? Uh why do you need to know what why are you wanting to film? Because I can, I'm gathering. For what? And for, uh, I'm gathering content for my story on the building in the Coweta County school system. No, uh, uh, we're not. We're not going to film inside office buildings. Oh, so I can't film in here? No, not. I'll. I'll get approved. I'll have to get SRO approval, police approval. No, we don't. Security reasons. We have approval already, sir. Dude, 
as the U.S. Constitution. No. Freedom of the no. press. No. No. One. One. As the U.S. Constitution. No. Freedom of the no. press. No. No. One. One. As the U.S. Constitution. No. Freedom of the no. press. No. No. Of course, Russ added that triple take right there. But Russ, the freedom of the press does not mean you have free reign to walk into any building you want. What it means is you have the right to publish a story without interference from the government. It doesn't mean that you can just walk into any place unrestricted. I mean, you're free to film from sidewalks, parks, or in a public area like that. You just can't walk into a restricted building and have free reign. I just talked to Mr. Kessering, and Mr. No. Kessering said he has permission to film just right in here. You can not go down the hallways and into the offices okay. that you're doing it for an internet oh, service. What? But you can only right here as far There's as There's no go. constitutional law about filming an office. There's no constitutional law about filming in public? Filming an office. This is, this is an office. <laughs> so you're saying I'm not you allowed to film? You go outside and film all you want. So I can't film in here? You can film right here. But you said I couldn't. He just said you had to prove it. <laughs> I, I said there's no constitutional law about filming in an uh, office. Would you mind if I no. come by and... I and do, uh, Yeah, I do mind. You can film right here. Um, but there's no... What's... There's... This is open to the public. We're not going to walk around and film office space for safety reasons. That's it. But We're sir, not going to do it. I'm not going to let you walk into school and film it either. I'm not going to a school, sir. You're in a public school... Building. This is the administration building. Owned by this the school system. Owned by the people, by the public. By the we pay your we pay your salary. Yeah, Russ. So what's your point? So what if the taxpayers pay for this? There's still restrictions. You just can't go anywhere you want. I mean, haven't you ever heard of the public forum doctrine? Especially when it comes to the second stage of that, the limited public forum? This. Otherwise, listen to me. We I, pay I, I, your salary. I agree. Okay, then this is we, our building. We, this we is the, the people's building. My salary. This if is the people's want, building. If you want to go get a vote on paying my salary, we don't need a vote, sir. The taxes pay your salary. Uh, I don't if, understand what you're you talking about. Me if he... All right, guys, I just got to interject really quick. I hate interjecting. This superintendent or assistant superintendent appears to be one of the dumbest assistant superintendents I've been in contact with yet thus far. It gets so much better. Let's keep watching. Oh, Russ, that's rich coming from you, considering how much you suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect. I mean, come on! If you want to film this office right here, you've got permission from what I said. Sir, you're not making any sense. Otherwise, I'm going to call somebody to escort you off campus. I will not be escorted or, off or this campus. Take down the ca I'll walk you through okay. the building, but we're not going to film it. Uh, I'll go with you if we can continue filming. If you know. I'm not leaving the campus, okay. and I'm not leaving this property until I'm done getting my content, sir. You can get it right here. What do you, I don't understand what you need the content for. Can you explain to me what the It's private is? right now. I, I can't but release I can't, it at this time. Then I can't give it to you. Do you understand that's a violation no, not. of the of, of well, the rights? Well, you you go you go get me something saying you have the right to film this, <laughs> and I'll do it. There's already something, no, sir. It's the not. U.S. Constitution. Me, go get me a copy where it says the, where in the Constitution where it says it, and I will. Do I you will know what the First on. Amendment is? Explain it to me. You explain it to me. I know. No, you, 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 you explain You're an it educator me. for our youth of this county. You, you explain it to me. First Amendment. Explain it to me. Do you know what it is? If I you know do, what it is, I want you to explain it to me. Okay, I'll let you ponder on that for a little okay. bit. So, I would like to please be. Is this a public area back here? The hallways and everything, because y'all got art on the walls, and uh, there's everything back here that I would like to, you know, document. Oh my goodness, that is what we call a false equivalence fallacy just because in this case uh this place has artwork does not mean it is a public forum even a limited public forum or non-public forum has artwork in it. you damn idiot and what are you documenting it for it's private right now too. man it's private at this moment i haven't released my i haven't released it yet well this can, can it be a security breach no, man, what are you if talking about? It, could it be a security breach? It's a public area. Okay. Are you are you stupid? Yeah. 
That's, like, that's what you want to call me. I'm not calling you. I'm asking you a you question. Just asking, just what you just I said, called. are you? I didn't call you. Stupid. I said, are so you stupid? Offered to give you to walk you through without the filming. Oh, no. He can walk me through, but I'm going to continue filming. Okay. okay. So that's the that, public areas. Okay. That, that part is the part that's a concern. Why? Yeah. Well, one of the concerns is that you don't know the layout of the building. So you can walk, <sighs> you can walk right into an office just by going through a space. And you wouldn't know that until you were already there. That's not making any sense, uh, ma'am. Ken has someone on the way. So we have police on the way. I was talking uh, to Mr. Bass. Oh, we have a cam back. Hey, uh, Mr. Bass, yeah. this is your warning, sir. Okay. Do not delete that footage off your phone. I'm going to FOIA request it. Okay. That's now a part of public record, sir. Okay. So whatever you do, do not delete that footage, sir. Okay. That is your warning. Okay. You how think it's your, funny. How about yours? You think mine's going to be up. You, so you'll can, be able to view mine soon. I can, I can request yours as well. You don't need to request mine. Mine's going to be on. Mine's going to be on my channel. channel. You'll be able to see it. Georgia Transparency. Okay. You'll be able to see it. Okay. It'll be on very, very soon. Okay. Y'all, okay, police are called, so we'll uh, we'll hang out. We'll wait for the police. The police are going to educate y'all. Nope, you're not going to get your way this time. The police aren't even going to let you through that doorway. Police are going to give y'all an education of what public property is. No, uh-uh, stop, no, uh-uh, no sir, no sir, do not touch me, do not touch my equipment. Don't put your camera in my face. You walked up to me, sir, you walked up to me. No, negative. No, sir, you will not touch me. I didn't touch you, sir, you grabbed my equipment. Oh, did the mean assistant superintendent touch your precious little camera? Ha, ha, ha. Is the police on the way? Stay in the lobby, Sir, you're going to learn today. Okay. You can't just go around putting your hands on people. I Sir, you grabbed my camera. Okay. Sir, you grabbed my camera. Okay. So you touched me. You grabbed me. Sir, that... Okay, whatever you say. We'll wait for the police. Woo. I did, sir. Uh, your name and badge number? I'm McGee. McGee? Uh, Russ. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Uh, I've been assaulted in here, I believe, by the uh, assistant superintendent, Vince Bass. Um, and, I, and I'm willing, um, I'm willing to show this. I have it all on camera. And I'm willing to show this to you. I would like to press charges against him. Okay, what, how were you assaulted? Um, I was taking pictures and filming in a public area. I'm a journalist. And uh, he came up to me and uh, just, he got like really, I'm not going to get close to you, but he got really close to me, grabbed my camera, grabbed my hand, twisted my hand. And uh, I had to grab his hand and fight my camera back away from him, all in a publicly accessible area. You had the video of it? I had the video of it, of it sir. Oh, you want to see the video? Okay, hey guys, uh, we're live right now. Um, I've got to cut the live stream right now. Is your body cam rolling, sir? Okay, all right. At this point, I had to cut out a dead air. The officer comes out of the building and wants his ID. So he comes up with his ID only to find out here in a few moments. And this is going to be the scary part. If this is true, oh man. Sir? Name badge number, sir? Mine? Yes, sir. That's Rawlings, badge number's 477. Ah, okay, cool. I need an actual driver's license or an ident actual identification card. Sir, that's a government identification. Do you have your driver's license? I do, but that's a that's a, that's a DOD I, I need issue. You. Okay, I need your driver's license. Yeah, he has a United States Department of Defense employee identification card. I hope, for all our sakes, that he does not hold a high-ranking position for what though for the report but that's got everything you need on for, for your report it doesn't sir. have the oil land which is what we use to run to pull your information up so we can add it into the report oh okay so that government issued id is not going to work the numbers on it aren't what we use for our system so that we use the tool 
through the uh, Department of Driver Services. So why do you need to run my information? To add it to the report. Yeah, but you need my name, my birth date, and that's just you know the basic stuff. You, you don't need to. Have a valid driver's license I, where it'll. I'm not answering populate. any questions about that. I, I came if in here. If you can't answer our questions, then we can't help you. All right, I really hate interjecting, but if I can't answer your questions, you can't help me. I provided you an identification card, a government identification card. I showed you video evidence of a crime that happened. So you can't help me just because I won't answer the questions that you want me to answer. Noonan PD, that is shame on you. No, Russ, you're just a moron. Employee identification cards have never been a valid form of identification as far as police investigations go. They at least need your driver's license so they can run it through their system. It's been like that for a very long time. I am. I gave you an identification card, sir. Well, we're asking for a proper identification card that we can... That is proper, sir. We, we need the one that we can use. I've got that. I got that ID okay. from Fort you, you from Warner okay. Robbins. Listen, we need your driver's license so that we can use it in our system to do it the proper way. Can you provide us with your driver's license? What's the proper way? I, I, I'm, I'm, do you want our help or not? Yes, that's why I called you. This okay. guy assaulted well, me. Can you help your driver's license so that we can help? You? Please. Jesus. So that will. I'm just asking. You, that will not work. That's no, not what we need. No. That won't work. So, uh, I need an actual okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my driver's license. It's not what we need. Not for us. We're not military. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's an it's a government issued ID card, though. We're telling you, it, it, it does. For Can y'all get a supervisor out here? No, sir. You ain't gonna get a supervisor? No, they're chasing the car right now. Okay, well then, I guess we can wait for them when they get done chasing the car. Maybe. Okay, but I'm fine. I got all day. Provide your driver's license. We can. Uh, I think they're trying to back up. Oh, we'll get out of their way. Sorry, we're all out here in the middle of the road and stuff. Does have your birthday on it? That don't look like it. Um, since you have that on video, what you can do, take all the information up to the magistrate courthouse, and if you want to take out warrants on it to press charges, the judge will say, yes, you have enough, or no, you don't. All you got to do is go up to the master courthouse right here. And, you know where it is, off of Greenville Street? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give you a case number. You'll just take that up there. They'll be able to pull up everything. Okay. Um, <laughs> as far as this building, um, they have asked that unless you have official business here, meaning not just recording the building, unless you have official building, business here they don't want you back i have official business here and what would that be i'm a journalist getting content for my story okay and that you cannot turn a constitutional protected activity into a crime that's why i asked for a supervisor that's a little bit more knowledgeable than this because now not only are y'all not doing anything about I've, I've been assaulted in here but now you're telling me if i don't have business here i gotta leave this is the and this is Noonan Police Department in Georgia, guys. So now I've, you know what? Yeah. So now I've been assaulted in here, trying to get content for my story at the Coweta County Central School System. Noonan Police aren't doing anything now. They just want to do a report, and I can take warrants, and then I have to leave the property. So, you understand everything? I understand it, and I think it's bullcrap. Because had I put my hands on him, y'all put me in cuffs and take me to jail and charge me. It, it's it's not right, man. You are entitled to your opinion? Oh, I am. I'm entitled to it. Yes, I am. Your body cam rolling too, sir? Yes, sir. Working. Yeah, I know. You familiar with the, how to get them if you want? Oh yes, sir. oh I'm very familiar with the, yes sir. Yes sir, I'm very familiar with open records, sir. I am. So, uh, basically, this is my understanding. Come out here, try to get content for my story. I get assaulted, I call the police, I show the police the evidence, and now I, ha I have to do all the work to go down there and take a warrant. If I assaulted him, y'all wouldn't tell him that. Y'all would arrest me. Y'all wouldn't make him go down there and get a warrant.
All right, guys, this is uh, Noonan, Georgia, or Noonan Police Department in Noonan, Georgia. This is the Officer McGee badge number. This is the case number. Six hours later. Um, okay. So if he wants to do his documentary or whatever it is, he can film from the lot. Um, Anywhere that's not that says it doesn't say restricted access. Beyond beyond our law, this desk is considered our Okay, that makes sense. So going beyond the desk would not be accepted. Yeah. Yeah, beyond the yeah. lobby would not be accepted uh, for security reasons. Okay. So for security reasons. Yeah, that's our security. Well, that's an articulable reason. I think that's fair. Oh, so if I go past that, I'll be arrested. I will be. Well. Without escort or without... Uh, Let's escort. Let's go. No, no, no. Without our escort. But he's a police officer. But without... I, without uh, they're not paying me. School-related business. He has school-related business. Or if he wants to call and set up an appointment for somebody uh, to show him around the building. Now, I'm not sure we let him film it for security reasons. But if he wants to tour the building. Yeah, because I don't know what all that got back... Well, just for, just for safety, we got, we, got, yeah, we got student uh, enrollment center in the back. We got uh, special ed mm -hmm. situation for student services. It's just, just for privacy reasons of students. Okay. All of those are valid reasons why you shouldn't be allowed back there without authorization. But, of course, you're not going to accept that. But when it comes to the school system... They don't play around with the safety of information or children's safety. So deal with it.